Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time of day it is for you, whatever you're doing, I hope you are feeling awesome, manifesting some abundance, feeling really good. I have never done a live video on this page before, so today I'm trying something super, super new. We'll see how it works. Uh, yeah, so today I am talking about the idea of perfection and the idea of perfection stopping you in what you are trying to manifest and in what you are trying to attract into your life. So for people who are familiar with the law of attraction and manifesting and conscious creating, it is pretty common for us to want to attract the most perfect thing. And because we live in such a um, perfect, like we need to be perfect in, because like social media and everything that everyone puts out, everyone wants to be perfect and show themselves as perfect and look at my perfect life and look at all this perfect stuff that I do and all this perfect stuff that I have. And I think that because of it, it really does stunt our ability to manifest because we put the idea of perfection on a pedestal that we can't really, we, we almost see it as unattainable. So you want to make sure that when it comes to manifesting, when it comes to even just living your life, the idea of perfection shouldn't be something that you are putting so, so, so high that you can't actually get it and that you can't actually attain it because you can have all of those things and you can attract all of those things and all of those things are meant to be yours. So look at what you are calling perfect. Look at what your idea of perfect is and see why it's perfect. What qualities of it make it perfect? And like write it down on a piece of paper or think about it, just meditate on it for a little bit. Look at your idea of perfect. Why is it perfect? And are there aspects of you that align with these perfect aspects? Because when you start to look at the things that you want and you notice that there are attributes of these things that you want that you already have, you're gonna start amplifying them. You're going to start being able to focus on the parts of you that are already perfect or the parts of you that align with things that you put as perfect. So you'll start bringing out those parts of you and bringing about those parts in your reality. Hopefully that makes sense. So take a look at what you call perfect and ask yourself, why do I think I can't have this. If you do think that you can't actually have it, ask yourself why. Why don't I think this is something that I can have? Why don't I think that this is something that I can bring into my life consciously? Why, what block am I putting up to stop myself from getting there? Because when it comes to creating things, when it comes to living your best life and pulling things in that you want and getting what you want, Seeing it as something that you can't have is not the way you're going to get it. Seeing it as something that's possible is the way you're going to get it. So don't let the idea of perfection stop you from going for it. Because a lot, like I said, a lot of times we see something that's like perfect as unattainable because we put it on such a high pedestal that we, and we don't think that we can get up there, but remember, all of those positive attributes out in the universe are a part of you. All of those things outside of you are in you. So some ways that you can start to get better things or start to align with you know, more positive, more happy, more uplifting, more things aligned with what you actually want would be to focus on what you have now that's really, really good, what you have inside of you that's really, really good, what you have coming to you in this moment that's really, really good, because that energy is just going to expand and it's going to seep out into your reality and then it's going to be reflected back to you because we are just energy. We don't get what we want, we get what we are. So, and you can even try to settle into the idea of being imperfect and letting that whole idea of perfection just poof, go, go away, get out. <laughs> Cause it's gonna stunt you if you are putting it on such a high level that you can't get to. So what does it mean to be imperfect? 
Uh, maybe for you it means being really, really comfortable in whatever you're wearing or whatever you're doing. Maybe it means not wearing makeup. Maybe it means eating food that maybe isn't the healthiest in your mind. Maybe it's trying something different. But a lot of times it's when we're trying to live a perfect life, we keep ourselves in this very restricted box. And you want to think outside of the box. You want to go outside of the box and start you know, testing your limitless potential because we are limitless and we have limitless abilities and limitless abundance and all that limitless stuff at our um, disposal. We can always have it coming to us. We always have it coming to us. But when you put yourself in that little box and you're like, this is what I want. This is how I have to live my life. This is what's perfect. You are totally blocking yourself off from all of the amazing things that can come to you. And when you keep yourself in that box, usually it's in your comfort zone, you are not letting yourself test the waters of what you can actually do. And it's when you get outside of that idea of perfection, it's when you get outside of that norm and that structure that you start to get different ideas and that you start to really align with what you can get to next and your idea of perfection can change and evolve. And it is good to have goals to get to, just make sure that you're not putting them so out of reach that you're never gonna get them. Because any goal that you have, anything that you want, any of those desires are possible. They're completely possible. They would never even formulate in your mind if it wasn't something that you could create. So what'll happen is you'll get a thought and you will, that thought is coming to you because you are in the vibrational vicinity of what you are trying to, of, of what that idea is. So it would never come to you if you weren't on some level already aligned with it. So it's gonna come into your mind first. Everything that we have in our lives started as an idea. The chair you're sitting on, the room you're in, our phones, social media, it all started as an idea. And then someone decided to focus on it enough and work on it enough to bring it into their reality. So it's gonna start as an idea and then it's going to start to grow. And the more that you positively focus on these ideas and keep them in an attainable mindset, not in a, oh, that's perfect, so I'll never get it mindset, you're going to start to see evidence and you're going to start to get different ideas of how you can bring it in. And the faster that this will happen, like this will happen faster when you stay in your flow state and when you stay in that really good, epic, awesome feeling. So you wanna try and keep yourself focusing on more positive things rather than more negative things. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if it doesn't make sense at all. But yeah, so perfection, it's, it's not something to be afraid of because it's not real. Everyone's going to have a different idea of what perfect is anyway. And I mean, there's that very like cookie cutter, perfect family, perfect housewife, perfect husband, perfect kids. And honestly, if you look at that, it's very structured. It's very predictable. It's kind of boring. So don't let the idea of having a perfect life make you feel like if you're not there that you are not worthy because sometimes it's having a crazy, unimaginable, awesome, magical life. And I mean, perfection could be magical for you if you, if you feel that way, if this resonates with you. Um, or you can live in that box. So yeah, I guess perfection is kind of a box that we keep ourselves in when we're trying to get to that next level of perfect. But you're already perfect. If you see yourself as perfect right now, if you embody the energy of perfection, you're going to be embodying the energy of confidence, of love, of trust, of awesome. It's gonna be really good aligned energy. So try and align with that energy, not the energy of perfection. Align with the energies of happiness, confidence, love. Walk with them, spread them, emit them. They're going to come back to you. And maybe the physical manifestations that they come back in are perfect. I don't know. So I wanted to do this live today on here, trying it out, something new, just to 
test it out. And I may continue to do lives on here. Let me know if this video resonated, if you have questions, if you have other topics you want me to cover. I would be happy to cover anything that you guys want that I can cover. And I hope you all have an amazing day. I hope this video has helped you, has inspired you, has made you feel like you wanna maybe get out of that little comfort zone box. And hopefully I do this again very soon. So whoever has joined me this morning, thank you. Whoever watches the replay, thank you. And I will see you guys later. Love and light.